So, uh, nine points clear, a clean sheet, another three points, uh, job done tonight. Yeah, certainly, you know, I think uh, I was on the radio before then saying my kit was clean and, and the only things that were there were my boots. But yeah, no, it was, a, it was a good afternoon for the lads and I think the fans enjoyed us, us scoring first this time and certainly a clean sheet, put that in the bag and go ahead for Saturday. And how difficult it is for you when you don't have a great deal to do? Uh, frustration, but uh, yeah, you know, I think got it to the lads, it's, it's, I've just got to keep me keep me concentration throughout the whole 90 minutes, um, whatever it may be, 96 minutes. Um, and yeah, I, I want to just keep clean sheets at the end of the day, and the lads done my job today, I'd say. Yeah, obviously Chesterfield's performances at home have been pretty dominant, haven't they? Yep. You know, right? I mean, it was surprising actually against the Gateshead side, they've been scoring goals for fun, and I know they've had plenty of changes, though, haven't they? Yeah, you know, the, the team today. Has, has changed drastically from what we thought it could have been. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think we, we played some great football today, even though they were playing out from the back. And I think they gave us two or three goals from, from trying to play out from the back. And we, we pressed and worked on it all week to, to try and nullify them uh, up, uh, up at the top of the end of the pitch. But yeah, no, I think we played really good stuff today. Yeah, was that a game plan from them? You knew what they were, would bring? Yeah, we've, we've watched clips, several clips of them. Um, they love to play football out the back. That's plan A, plan A, plan A type of thing, and that's all they do. They, you know, at the end of the game, now you see them going long slightly, but it, it, we win the ball back straight away. But yeah, we've worked on it all week, and I thought we we done it well today. Different centre half partnership as well. Tyra Williams back from injury for the first period since October. Yeah, and nice to see him back, isn't it? Yeah, I thought he was great today. Um, thought both him and Palms were great. Back four were great. Um, yeah, and credit to the lads, they they deserve the clean sheet as well. Will Greg with a hat trick, yeah. of course. Uh, his first one for a, a couple of seasons as yeah. well. But you know, when you've got somebody as skilled as him putting the ball in the back of the net, it makes your job even a little bit easier, doesn't it? Yeah, it does take the pressure off. I'd say the back four. Um, that early goal at 12 minutes, at 12 minutes in, it was it was good for us and certainly good for the crowd. I think it relaxed the lads, relaxed the, the crowud, and they were probably used to us being behind at one 0 two 0 early on. But no, I thought. We started excellent today and, and, and it showed, certainly the first goal and then we went on 2, 3 and 4 before half time. Yeah, you touched on that actually, actually normally Chesterfield are like one goal or a couple of goals down, aren't they? Yeah, so it was a, so it was a stressful, well, not, not a stressful even, uh, evening for the fans tonight, okay. uh, going behind first, but yeah, no, we went off in front first and I think it certainly relaxed the lads and relaxed the fans as well. It's one thing that's slightly lacking in Chesterfield's game at home this season, is clean sheets, I think that's only the, the third so far, but yeah. you'll, be, you'll be delighted with that anyway, you yeah. something to work on. Yeah, we yeah, we, 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 we count them, we put it in the bag and go ahead for Saturday, keep another clean sheet there hopefully and then we'll focus to Altrincham on Tuesday night and hopefully get another one there at home as well. How is uh, Ryan Boot keeping you on your toes as well? I bet you were good to miss out on Vicarage Road though on Saturday. Yeah, no, but the, you know, I was good to miss out but you know, Ryan made some great saves, I thought his performance was excellent, I thought he could have been man of the match for me. Um, and you know I've got to keep performing in training. He's always biting at my heels, trying to get in the squad. And you know you interviewed him on on the Saturday, and he was he was he was wanting to play. And you know it's it, it's great competition. I call it healthy competition. You know behind me, and you know it keeps me on my toes every day. And then Luke Chadwick, of course, the third goalkeeper, and he's only a youngster as well. Yeah. But he may get a game on Saturday, so we never know. Yeah, never know. We'll see. We'll see. Come Saturday morning, uh, what happens there. But yeah, no, he's credit to credit to the lads. You know, Dave, Luke. Ryan, you know, we're all, we're all a good group, I'd say, and we're all wanting to make each other better and work hard. Is the message in the dressing room now, right, it's nine points, doesn't mean anything, we've, we've still got to win every game, take it game by game? Yeah, I, th I think we'd, we'd say our, our every game at home or every game away until the end of the season is, is a cup final for us in the league, certainly. We want to, you know, we've, we had a great weekend uh, at Watford, but, you know, that, that, that's gone now, we move on and we, we look to the league and we take that as our, our, every game as a cup final and we, a must win.